If you're learning networking, computer science, programming, or any other computer-related topic, you will need to know what binary numbers are and how to convert them to and from decimal. And that's the objective of this video. Us humans like to count in decimal. This is also called base 10, as it's made up of 10 different digits, 0 through to 9. When we're counting and we run out of digits, we simply add a new column for another digit and keep going. This is how we're able to get infinite numbers while using only 10 digits. Machines, on the other hand, use a binary counting system. This is also known as base 2, as there are only two values, 0 and 1. Counting in binary uses the same principle as decimal. When we run out of bits, we add a new column and carry on. As you can imagine, the number of columns grows very quickly. To make it a bit easier to understand, we like to group together 8 bits at a time and call them a byte. If we don't have nice, even 8 bits to work with, we can add a few zeros to the front to tidy it up a bit. We're all going to face some times when we need to convert binary to decimal. That is, converting a number the computer understands into a number that humans understand. It's not as hard as you may think. Just remember that binary is just a different way of counting. It's like how some languages use different alphabets than we do. We're just going to work with a single byte for now to keep it simple. In our byte, each bit position has a specific value. Notice that we're counting from right to left, and each number is double the one from before it. If we turn this bit on, we now have the binary number of 1. If we turn this bit on, we have the binary number of 2. If we have more than one bit turned on, we add them all up. So if we turn on the bits in the 1 and 2 columns, then we have the binary value of 3. Now let's practice on a slightly harder example. The bits we're working on here are in the 128, 16, 4 and 1 columns. So we simply add all these values together, and we get 149. It's not as hard as it looks, is it? Now let's try converting the other way. Let's go from decimal to binary. For our example, let's start with a value of 22. Once again, we're going to work with 8 bits. Starting with the leftmost bit, look at the column header. Now, decide if it's smaller than 22. The goal behind this is to find the first column that is smaller than our value. So right away, the first three columns are out. The fourth column is 16, which is indeed less than 22. So we turn this bit on, and we subtract 16 from 22, leaving us with 6. We now repeat the process. We find that 4 is the first column that's smaller. So we set that bit, subtract 4 from 6, and we're left with 2. We repeat the process again, and set the bit in the 2 column. Now we're down to zero, which means that we have our binary number. See, I told you it wasn't going to be as hard as it sounded. It may take a little bit to get your head around, so rewatch the video a few times, challenge yourself, do a few practices, convert backwards and forwards, and you'll have it in no time. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments.